Okay, it's about quarter past seven on the 17th of June, 2019. Um, we're going to take a, a stroll around the forest, um, going up here, up into the forest, around that way, towards the east. Um, and we're going to have a picnic at a spot if we can find a nice spot over there um, and we should be back by about I don't know before 11 I guess this is at the top of First Avenue in Fernridge Yep. Ik is blij dat het warm aangetrek. Oké, okay, it's about 25 past 7. Um, here's our first T junction, our crossing. That one goes to the Botanical Gardens in Glenberry. This one goes along the railway tracks uh, to Dunnetworth. We're going straight across and up the hill. Couple of places down the road, coming up on the woozel bush. If you don't know what a woozel bush is, read the original Winnie the Pooh stories by A. A. Milne. This is a woozel bush here. That path goes down to Glenbarry. Christopher Robin might be sitting up in that tree. And here we are on the other side of the whistle bush. Path down there running across like that. Close to Glenbarry. This goes up to hill to Sampi's Wuchte. And the old George Dam. And we're going up here. Okay, it's about 20 to 8, coming up on our first, well, on a split in the road. Um, this one to the left goes around the bend, and then over there somewhere you hit a T-junction, and you can turn to the right, and then go to the Old George Dam, or the Tirkop Road. Tirkop Road splits around and goes up into the mountain, through Tunnelbos to Sarsfeld again. We're taking the right hand one here, going towards Dunnetworth.
Looks like we've just passed another whistle bush over here because there's another path coming in here. It's about quarter to eight. We've got some buck spur, buck tracks over here. You can see the the back of the hoof over here and the front tip over there pointing towards that direction um, looks fairly fresh I'm not a really a spur snare of of any fame but uh, there are some buck in the forest and I've seen them very rarely from time to time might actually still be in the vicinity but it's a it's a rare sight beautiful and rare sight if you ever come across a bushbuck. Okay, the buck spur were just over there, uh, a couple of paces down the road. We're going down the track over here, around the bend, those white rocks over there in the distance. We're going to pass them along the tree line up to the ridge, and then we're probably going to have our picnic at the top over there if we can find a nice spot. Another couple of paces down the road, it's going on to 10 to 8, some more buck tracks and bicycle tracks as before. But the buck is more recent than the bicycle tracks because they're overlaid on the bicycle tracks. The bicycle tracks might be here from yesterday, the buck tracks might be the buck having passed early this morning or last night sometime. So it looks like they're, they're following the track, the road, easy going. Okay, we're just coming back on the buck tracks here. Um, we noticed that um, this was our, pre I think this was our previous recording. Moving up, the tracks are, the, the, the pace, the length of the pace between the tracks are extending, so, and the indentations are deeper, so it looks like the buck has been running. Something might have been chasing the buck. Might have been a jump from there to here and then and then we saw over here indentation of some kind of a paw print four cushions over there there's another big one over here might be or maybe I'm just imagining things but it looks like some kind of a cat or a dog had been chasing these this buck there was one one buck track that turned around the other way so see that one's pointing that way so something might have I don't know stalked it and spooked it and it turned around and ran back I don't know interesting there might be another paw print over there And then up here at the tree line, taking a lift. Over here. And we're going up all along tree line over here to the top of the ridge. We've just seen some buck tracks on this path here as well. It looks like it's been running up uphill here as well. The ground's a bit harder now. It's difficult to see the tracks. There perhaps, 
and there's definitely another one, another imprint. So I suspect that it might have been a little bit easier to run uphill, especially in the dark, run uphill along the path instead of through the bush like that. The trouble is, the thing that's chasing you has also got an easier way through the bush then, along the path. Oh, this is interesting. Yes, usually we go up straight and I've never seen this path over here. Let's walk around this way. Yeah, it's just going on to five past, five to eight. And we're coming up on on another road here, running across. Road, path. And we're carrying on up ahead. Rather boggy, marshy. Look at all the water. There's a path going down the hill over there. Um, you can actually walk around from where we started, walk around through the forest, there's a, there's a bend through the forest down there and you can come up here. But uh, follow me, I know a shortcut. Quite wet, all the water running down the hill. This is why are we coming up the hill? Because we're actually on the edge of a cliff. And the idea is to have a picnic on top of the cliff, at the top over there, with a view over the valley down there. There's a path running through the valley down there as well. Um, but yeah, we're heading up the hill. Right, here's another jeep track, an old jeep track, coming in from the top. sunrise of the of the town can't really see it yet behind the trees and behind the ridge and there's the Dinnerwood airstrip and Bergvall retirement village over there through the trees those little black roofs with the orange uh, what do you call those things? Oh, I don't know. Little triangles. And Victoria Bay is over there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, and then, then you can go down the hill again and up the other side. And then you hit the railway tracks running across somewhere there at the top. And you can follow the railway tracks and walk your way along and then go to the swings. You drop off on the other side into a valley. But it's a long way. This is the long way around to the swings. Uh, as far as I know, very few people actually take this way to go to the swings. There are shorter ways going up past the old George Dam to get to the swings. So here we are at the top of the cliff, actually dropping down a bit already. Acrophobes 
don't look now. I myself am feeling a little bit uncomfortable. This branch seems to be solid. I'm leaning over the edge. Hello down there! Yeah, I don't know, it's about a 20 meter drop, I guess. 25 meter drop. And then there's a path under the trees over there, bending around that way. Um, my plan is to have a picnic over here somewhere where it's comfortable and then afterwards go down on the other side and perhaps walk our way back or go down to Dennetwurt and walk our way back there along the railway tracks or something like that. We'll see what the time allows. This is just over the top of the hill. Um, that was a tree where I just stood and looked over the edge. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the path runs down here, crosses a little stream at the bottom over there, runs up the top, and then you hit the railway line over there, a little bit under the pylon, and runs across over there. There's George Peak. And now we're going to look for a picnic spot. About five past eight, and we're going to have our break breakfast picnic here. We've just come down the hill over here, and uh, here's a fireplace. Um, I've been looking around, I don't really see a better spot. It's my very well be the best spot. Okay, it's going on to 25 past 8 and I'm still waiting for the water to boil. Um, we've set up our picnic, some breakfast over there. Um, sun is rising just over the treetops, on the treetops over there. Coming from the east, behind the trees. And so I've got the view of the sunrise. There on the hill, the sun's also shining over there on the mountain as well. Quite a nice spot. Yeah, it's about quarter to nine and uh, there's sunrise now at last and it's warming up a bit I can feel it and we're sort of finishing breakfast coffee and rusks 
most enjoyable. Okay, it's just past nine o'clock and we're heading out again, going downhill and then making our way around, one way around or the other way around, going back home. Got it all, looks like. Where shall we go? Over there. Oops, that's a deep one. Looks like another fireplace from a long time ago. Or it might actually be fire damage from October 2018. Uh, around this way. Going on to 20 past 9 and we had our picnic over there, we've come around, the way home is that way but we want to inspect this valley over here at the bottom, it looks quite interesting. very inviting at the moment. Arr! How shall we attack this? Maybe over there. Under. No, that one's not going off. There we go. Oh, 
Right, and we're in. We had our picnic up there on the ridge. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Over there. It's the ridge running all the way around. What's happening here? Not too much. It's not very interesting. Ah, there's a fire. might want to put that fire out otherwise we could have another disaster on our hands Looks really like a very strange place to have a fire. This is really strange, and there's no water in the immediate vicinity. I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with this because the soil is full of. full of dry plant matter and doesn't help just covering it up with soil because it might just very well whoops ignite eventually not quite sure how I'm going to deal with this might have to call the fire brigade There's another spot over there, there's another spot over there. This, this can be a problem. Going on to uh, 25 past 9, 25 to 10, sorry. And we've had our picnic up on the hill there, coming down the hill. As you can see, there's no path here, so I'm recording to give you an idea of where you might possibly go. But the idea is to get down the hill onto level ground again. And you can walk out to, to Dennetworth over there. So you can see we're still a little way up. Judging by the elevation above the town. Ah, oh, there's a damn wall here. I don't think I've ever seen this wall. Have I? I can't remember, but perhaps very long ago I might have might have passed by here once. Oh, that's yonks and yonks ago.
Right, where to now? That away, I guess. Spot of water down there. Not quite sure whether we should go across the wall or down here somewhere. Down there, here's the path. But I might be running into a dead end over here. Yeah, it looks like. So I can see where to go, but I can't get there. Turn around. Then goes my third dumbbell gun. But here is a dirt loop. I don't think this dam has a name. Watch out for iron spikes like this, like that over there. There we go. I suppose there must have been some water running across this outlet over here, rusting these spikes away at some time. That must have been many moons ago as well. through the forest over there, through the bush and then make our way down there and then walk out to Dinawit. Okay, it's about quarter to ten. The smoldering fire is up there on the cliff. Um, the dam wall is just about over there. And there's an old ruined wall. Come around or in front of the wall around here. And then probably down this way. See, this is not your regular walk in the park. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure whether this will get us, whether this path will get us where I want to go. Because I need to be just beyond the trees over there. Not these trees here in front, the ones across the little stream. And there's a path over there, but the question is how to get there. Let's 
see, here's the stream. Looks like there is a path through the through the brush. We can just get there somehow. But that path might be obstructed by brambles and that can be a mission to get through. It's gotta be here. This is it. Say, get die hikey. And then, then let's see if we can cross over here. Be careful, deep holes. Uh, it's gonna be tricky. Uh, it's gonna be tricky. It's almost completely overgrown with brambles on the other side. Over here, at least. Let's see over there. We could pass through there. So we need to get down here. This will hold and snag on anything else. There we go. Jump! Right, here we go. And we're almost there. Adventureness. Here's the path. And we have found civilization. See, it was just a matter from, of coming from down there to here. But you can't climb down that face very comfortably, so you have to walk around and cross the damn wall and boondabash a bit. And, Ja, nee, ons het al hier geloop, ons het gaan ons het verlede week, week voordat het ons hier geloop. So this is on the way to Dennewoord. And we're going to take a shortcut to let the people know about that fire up there, the, the, the smoldering in the underbrush. Follow that path around and there's a turn off to your right eventually and you go down into Dunnetwert. We're going to take the straight one here. Shortcut, we're going to the waterworks. Hopefully we'll find somebody to report what we found up there. Five to ten. Going down the hill. That gate seems to be locked. It might not be locked, I don't know. But it's not open at the moment. It's about half past 10. We're on our way back. We've just spoken to the fire brigade. Uh, there's the waterworks. We've shown them, gave them an idea where the fire is. And uh, now we're going to follow this track along the railway tracks going back to Fernridge. Okay, it's about 10 to 11. Here we are back where we started this morning. We went up there to the nice circle route. Come back along the railway tracks, parallel to the railway tracks, and going back down to Fernridge. <laughs> 